Robbie Myers. La, 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 la. Oh, hi. I just got off that plane. You know, I won this ticket to come to Vegas. But you know, I, I really don't like to fly. I'm always a little afraid. So before I get on the airplane, I say, oh God, please watch over me. And then when I get off that plane, I say, oh God, please watch over me here. But you know what? If God's watching over me, I might as well entertain him. Yes. <gasps> right. And I get off that plane and I call my daughter. Honey, I'm safe. And I hear in the background my son-in-law, oh shit. <laughs> well, anyway, <laughs> anyhow, um, I also, my daughter said, Mom, you know, Ron, our, our, my brother, my son, had back operation. And I said, well, you know, your dad's just had that back operation. You know what that is? That's a back-to-back -back event. There we go. Now, as I was on the plane, I was thinking about all the children that have talked to me in classrooms. And before I left, this darling little girl in kindergarten came running up to me and said, Teacher, teacher, we have a new baby in our house. And I was with my dad, and he picked me up, and we looked through the window of the baby. And I said, Oh, it was. She said, Yeah, it's a little boy. I said, well, how do you know it's a little boy? Well, I watched that nurse. She pulled the blanket down, down, down. And I knew it was a boy. I said, well, how did you know? Well, it had blue booties. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I do have a friend in the country. She's a teacher. And you know, they have 4-H projects there. And one little boy, he got a donkey. And he named that donkey the biblical ass. That donkey would follow him all over. And one day, they went across the railroad track, and that donkey wouldn't move. And guess what? That train came and the donkey. That little boy in ran to school. Oh, my ass! My ass! <laughs> and the teacher was very formal, and she said, now, son, we must not say that, we must say rectum. How can a rectum and kill them? <laughs> well, I have a little boy that comes to school every Monday, and I hear about the sermon at his church. He sits there and he listens to the pastor. And this Monday he came to me and he said, you know what I heard about the teacher in school, or in Sunday church? And I said, what? He said, I heard about Adam and Eve, and I heard about how they made them into dust, how they made them out of dust. And I heard about how we go to dust when we die. But you know what? This morning when I was looking for my shoes under the bed, I yelled to my mom, Mom, there's somebody coming or going under the bed. <laughs> we had show and tell just before I came on this trip. And I had one little girl, they bring all sorts of things, toys and dogs and cats, whatever. And this little girl brought her puppy, a little girl puppy. And she'd been to the vets, and you know what they do to little girl puppies. And I said, well, tell the class about your puppy. She said, well, we have to be very careful of my puppy because they just took out a puppy making machine. And I said, oh, yes, but do you know what that's called? She says, yeah, it means shoveled. Yeah, spaded, folks. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> so we went around the room, and all of the children talked. And I got to the back of the room, and here's a darling little boy with his hand clutched like this. And I said, what have you got in your hand? And he opened it. And in the center of his hand was a cricket. And I said, why, that's a cricket. He said, yeah, teacher, it's a cricket. I said, why'd you bring a cricket? He said, well, I always wanted to be a cricket. I said, why'd you want to be a cricket? Because I can sleep all day and all night. <laughs> Went home that night. My grandson.
son was in with her, his grandfather, and he said, hey, I listened real closely, and he said, Grandpa, how much does it cost to be married? And my husband never winked, blinked, or made a smile. And he said, grandson, I really don't know. I'm still paying. <laughs> so the next morning, I got up, got ready. The cab was out there. My husband hugged me and kissed me and said, now listen, honey. You watch out for those muggers and those people that steal things, and please be careful. And I got in that cab, and I looked at him, and I said, Honey, I may be short, and I may not hit hard, but I sure can hit all. <laughs> Goodbye.